Oh, hey, it's Ken. I'm running along the Mississippi River. You can see it through the trees there. Right at the place where it splits the two cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul. Run along a bike trail along a race route that I'm going to do a half marathon on Saturday. And you know how it works when you sign up for races. You might sign up online, but they want you to come into the store to pick up the shirt, race number, and maybe browse a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. I did it. Good people. Talk to the folks there. I figured as long as I'm all the way in here to St. Paul, why not get on the race course and run a little bit of it? You know, when they put together a race, there's usually a map of the route. Often there's an elevation profile to show you where the hills are. And this one's no different. But depending on the scale they use, those hills can start looking like the Alps or the Pyrenees. Colorado Rockies and uh, no different with this race so I'm on the section now that uh, has the longest and steepest climb based on the map you know there's no substitute for personal reconnaissance it's a military axiom it's always good to get your feet on the ground put your eyes on the target you know exactly what you're dealing with and so no different here and uh, it's a good news story because what looks like a ski slope in the Alps is nothing more than kind of a gentle slope up a hill alongside a road on one on one side and a river on the other. Here's what it looks like. So if I can run up this Alp and still talk to you, no problem. It's going to be a good day on Saturday. But uh, one of the reasons I'm running this particular race is I've been doing it with a group of friends. We're with what's called Team World Vision. And they're raising money and, a, and awareness in support of getting clean water to those that need it most. Places like Africa. Now somebody crunched the numbers and found that the average person over there has to walk five kilometers just to get access to water. And the water he gets is not necessarily even clean once they get it, lug it back to their house. It's a tough situation. You know, something we often take for granted. You got air to breathe, clean water to drink, food to eat, self safety, security. It's easy to take it for granted, but take any of those away, suddenly your priorities will very rapidly realign. This is no different. So, partnering with my new friends and Team World Vision, we've been training for several months. We meet Saturdays for our long training run. And the first of the two major runs we're doing comes on Saturday, half marathon. Many of us will continue on to do the full marathon in October in Twin Cities. So if you're still with me at this point in the video, I want to thank you for coming on the journey. I encourage you to check the link below, learn a little bit more, maybe consider donating and supporting a cause, say $50 feed or can uh, provide clean water for one person for a lifetime and that can make a huge difference I had a friend who was over there recently and she saw the stark difference villages without water dry dusty forlorn villages with water had gardens and healthy people because they weren't spending their time and energy going to get water that might make them sick they really expend that energy in more positive, constructive ways and lift their level of living. And through this effort, I hope we can help them do more of that. So thanks. Appreciate your help on the journey. Appreciate your consideration of donating. And of course, I'll give you an update on Saturday. See how it all pans out. And just finally, here we are at the top. I told you it wasn't that hard. Here's a look. Thanks, I hope you're well. See you on Saturday.